realize we've been watching Dallas for six years already, and there's a lot of human drama in Dallas, things that really actually happen to the characters. For example, Jock, du Jock Ewing died, our wonderful friend Jim Davis. Mm -hmm. Charlene Tilton really got pregnant in real life, and Miss Ellie has uh, had some bouts with cancer, etc. So in that six-year period of time, we have to bring in new characters and look what's happening to <laughs> Dallas. Alexis Smith has joined the cast, and she is going to be playing Dusty Farlow's sister. No, Clayton. Clayton Farlow, Dusty's dad. Yes. Clayton Farlow's sister. Mm -hmm. Are you going to wear a white hat or a black I'm hat? Bad. <gasps> I'm bad. I'm bad. Those are the best kind <laughs> yes, of they are. roles yeah. to have. Now, and she's up to no good. Lady Jessica Montford is her name. You're a titled person. Yes. Well, yes. Where did you get that title? Well, I went to England from Texas, and I obviously married Lord Montford, <laughs> so I got the title. <laughs> and what happened to him? <laughs> so we, we, don't we don't know. know. Well, we we don't can know. make it up. He was with Lord Mountbatten on An that. An ninja. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> and when, when it blew up and, you, and the elephants got there too late, Oh, yes. May I, well, I don't know. Maybe we'd want him to turn up sometimes. Oh, that's right. Yes. So we shouldn't. Never, no, we shouldn't do away with him without investigating the possibilities well, of the, his lordship. <laughs> <laughs> How long down the road have they let you know what you're going to be doing? Or are you sworn to silence and secrecy? I'm sworn to secrets, to secrecy. And also, I know very little, actually. Ah, well, when I, t I talked to Howard Keel when he first came on the show, yes. and I said, down the road, you and Miss Ellie are going to get together. Mm -hmm. See, I predicted that, for whatever yes. it was worth. And now, it's my understanding that you are going to try to prevent that. I'm not pleased about it. Huh. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it fun? <laughs> if we only wrote their scripts, oh, imagine how... W but you know, everyone on the set, we all sit around and say, oh, what do you think? Do you think it's this and do you think it's that? And we're all, you know, guessing. Yeah. So we, we know really no more than any of the rest of you do. Well, how delightful for you to join that successful show. It's one of the top-ranked shows and has been for six yes. years, and you get to be yeah. a part of it. Yes, it's, uh, well, it's the number one yeah. show, so I think if you're going to do it, it's not bad to go into that. Well, flesh it out. Be it just evil and villainous and we'll <laughs> love you for it. Be as wicked as J.R. We love to hate J.R. Oh, yes. I think it takes one to know one is what it's about yes. with Lady Jessica and J.R. Okay, madam. We are going to have a quiz now. If you will tell our audience, this woman, this one of the most popular and beautiful starring actresses in the 40s and the 50s, and is still gorgeous, wonderful, Thank wonderful. You. I'm going to name the star that you starred with. And you name the film. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now they're your films. So now, okay. do I get a prize or anything? Yes. I mm -hmm. have to go through all of this and don't get anything? There'll be a prize. Oh, all right. Okay. okay. Errol Flynn. Oh, well, four pictures I did with him. Um, I was asked that recently, so I can remember. So I remember Dive Bomber, Montana, San Antonio, and... Uh, uh. I was bragging. There's another <laughs> one. Oh, Gentleman Jim. Gentleman oh, Jim. very good. All right. Humphrey Bogart. Two, the two Mrs. Carrolls and another one that I can never remember the name of. <laughs> There's looking at you, kid. No, that was the name of it. No. No, no, no. I That's okay. That's okay. I don't remember. Okay. That. Cary Grant. Night and day. Night yes, and day. Yes. Uh, Paul Newman. The Young Philadelphians. Mm. Mm. Frederick March. Oh, The Adventures of Mark Twain. Clark Gable. Any number can play. William Holden. The Turning Point. Look at that history of wonderful theater that she has been a part of in the movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, at that time, you were under contract, right, Alexis? Mm -hmm. They don't do that anymore, do they? Mm. Not, to the, not the way it was done then. I mean, some people are under contract, I think, to networks, but that means they are in a series or, you know, they're doing the same thing. It isn't moving from one project to another as we all did when we were under contract. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd, I remember at one point I made... 11 films in two and a half years, which was just about all you could get in. But working with, with people such as, as those you've just mentioned and going from one type of character to another, and it was almost like a training ground. Mm -hmm. And we were really extremely fortunate to have that kind of continuity to a career that is very difficult today for, for young people because it, in many cases it's sort of instant stardom and instant oblivion, you know, of a series is not renewed. 
And I, it's, it's awfully difficult, I think. Well, how, about, how long did the contracts run in those days? They hired you, they paid you for X number of years or one year? Well, it was a standard seven-year contract. Seven. I think slavery is beyond that. So they couldn't sign you for more than, legally, for more than seven years. But what they would di do, which was very clever, would be renew your contract, say, after three years, if they knew that they were going to utilize you. And they'd give you a raise, which was not commensurate, really, with mm -hmm. the kind of work you were doing or the kind of roles you were playing. But you were so pleased to, you know, to get a raise after three years. And then, so you were always just a little behind your market value. But they didn't give you the opportunity <laughs> to reach out there. They say they're universal. You're under contract with whom? With Warner whom? Brothers. Okay, yes. all right. And Universal has got the picture that you want to do. You couldn't do it, right? Well, there really wasn't all that much uh, borrowing people from other studios because each studio had their own uh, players, uh, and they would utilize them before they would because it was sure. you know cheaper probably, yeah. and, and then they wanted to build their own talent. It was to their advantage rather than borrowing someone from another studio and adding to their uh -huh. prestige. Oh, what a wonderful history! And now to television, yeah. and you be villainous, madam. Evile. <laughs> oh, we'll love it. Alexis Smith has joined the cast of Dallas. I know you'll be watching it here on 1011 Strong. Thank you. It was Thank a you very pleasure. much. Thank you. Stay tuned. 1011 Morning continues.